Ever wondered what is included in the pricing package of the WordPress hosting providers? Are you confused which hosting service to choose? Well, don't worry, we'll guide you through it all. Hi everyone, I'm Anna, the How To Girl at 10 Web and Manage WordPress Hosting Platform part by Google Cloud. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the different types of hostings and their pricing packages. Everyone expects to get an appropriate service for the money they pay, so in this guide, we'll let you know what exactly is included in every hosting's pricing package and whether it's really worth it or not. Also, if you want super cool WordPress-related content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you're already hosting your WordPress website, let us know in the comment section whether you're satisfied with your pricing packages. Now, before we move to the pricing, let's first of all understand the four types of hosting you can choose from. The shared hosting, managed WordPress hosting, VPS hosting, and the dedicated hosting. Let's start from the shared one. Shared hosting, as the name hints, is a hosting where you share your server with a bunch of other users. And because of this collective approach, you also get shared prices and you end up paying way less compared to many other hosting providers. But the problem with shared hosting is that you will have to sacrifice a lot for that price. Your website's speed, security, uptime, and everything will pretty much become a headache with most of the shared hosting packages. And also you will not get much of a support either because uh, shared hosting providers uh, don't have individual appro approach to all of their customers. Now, a good alternative to shared hosting is the managed WordPress hosting. In this case, your hosting provider will take care of all the technical aspects of your website and you will also get a bunch of bonus services that will really ease up your website management. With managed WordPress hosting, you, your website will be much faster, way secure, and you will have a 24-7 support team that will solve all your issues. The main ideology of managed WordPress hosting is to give you time to focus on your business or blog while your host will take care of the technicalities. There is also the dedicated hosting where the clients have a proper server and resources. These types of hostings work usually best for their websites with high traffic. Also with the, a dedicated hosting, you will get a lot of flexibility as you have a full control over your server. And somewhere between the dedicated hosting and the shared hosting is the virtual private server, most commonly known as the VPS hosting. In this case, you still have your uh, virtual server, but you share the machine with the other users. It's like living in your own apartment in a building that you share with hundreds of others. Uh, anyways, it's still better than sharing your own room. The same way, the VPS hosting is better than the shared hosting, as in this case, you have more privacy and way less problems. Now let's go straight into the pricing packages of these hostings. And again, we'll start from the shared hosting. An average price of shared hosting is from $5 to $10. If you're entirely new to WordPress and aren't planning to spend too much money on your website, then you will definitely bump into the shared hosting ads that claim that they are an easy, quick and affordable solution. Unfortunately, most people get into their trap and go with the shared hosting, but soon enough they realize that the headache of managing it isn't even worth the couple of dollars they paid. Franklin, Grant, and Jackson. And as we already mentioned, the shared hosting becomes this cheap because uh, you share your server with hundreds of others. Of course, this will cut off uh, most of your cost, but here is what you could get instead. Very slow website. In the shared hosting, there is this concept of a bad neighbor effect. Uh, this is when your website gets uh, affected because of another user. For instance, if this user suddenly gets a high traffic to his page, uh, your website is going to load slowly and you can do nothing about it. And in our age, you need to realize how important the website speed is. Most of the statistics have shown that people won't wait more than 3 seconds and will leave your page if it doesn't load. So with shared hosting, you're probably going to lose most of your potential clients. For security, although your software might be secure and updated, others on the same server might run an old software which can make both of you an easy target for hackers. Not to mention that you never know who your neighbors are. Uh, a hacker could get a shared hosting just as easy as you. On top of all that, with shared hosting, you don't have a quality backup system, you don't get a lot of support from the team, and in general, managing a website will become so distressing. 
So yes, it is a cheap alternative and uh, it usually works best if you want a quick website for your university project or just a web page for you and your fans. In all other cases, shared hosting just won't give you much. Now let's discuss how many WordPress hosting plans and pricing are usually done. As we've already mentioned, Managed WordPress Hosting is a perfect alternative to the shared one. It pretty much solves all the issues you might have with the shared hosting and gives you a bunch of other services to ensure a premium hosting experience. Then you might wonder why do people choose shared hosting if there is such a great service instead? The answer is simple, the pricing. On average, managed WordPress hosting packages cost uh, from $25 to $50 a month and uh, some of them cost even $100 monthly. That's why people would choose to struggle with the uh, issues of the shared hosting but pay way less. Of course, this was until some newcomers in the managed WordPress hosting came to the industry and put an end to the shared hosting era. With Tenweb, for example, you can get all the benefits of the managed hosting at the price of the shared one. Tenweb offers you a high quality service for just $10 a month and it includes an SSO certificate, easy drag and drop uh, dashboard, thousands of plugins and a lot of cool things. We also have an SEO service that will make sure you rank high on SERPs. In short, the only disadvantage of the managed WordPress hosting was the pricing, but now you can get an affordable package and let your website enjoy the luxurious service it deserves. Now going straight to the VPS plans and pricing. On average, VPS will cost you from $20 to $30 a month and again it can go as high as $100 monthly. And the main factor that makes VPS so expensive is its large SSD uh, disk storage. With this pricing, VPS hosting gives your website great stability and good performance. In this case, you don't share your operating system with other users, which also gives you better security. And finally, the level up version of the VPS hosting is the dedicated hosting. Now, by far, the dedicated hosting is the most expensive type of hosting out there, as in the case of the dedicated hosting, the server is dedicated to you and you only. So you need to expect to pay at least $75 monthly, um, but this is really the cheapest price you can find. The average price starts at $150 monthly, while this number can jump up to uh, $1,500 monthly, which is really a lot. People go with the dedicated hosting mainly because they expect a really fast growth of their website and anticipate it to grow big very quickly. This type of hosting is also for those who want full control over their server, but don't forget that this also means a lot of responsibility and tech savviness. So if you're a beginner, you definitely don't need this. In short, there are four types of hostings and choosing the best one uh, really depends on what your goals are. While shared hosting was considered to be the cheapest option, in our video we've shown that managed WordPress hostings like 10web offer similar pricings but at the same time offer way better services. On the other hand, there are VPS and dedicated uh, hostings which give you more control over your website but come at high pricings. So, think what you really expect from your hosting, go over our pricing comparison and make the right decision for your website. And don't forget to check out our free 14-day trial of Managed WordPress Hosting, which will give your website an automatic 95 plus page speed score, lots of useful plugins and premium SEO services. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, let us know in the comment section down below what you think about the pricings of your host. Take care and I'll see you in another video.